Welcome, collectors. Thank you so much for choosing to spend your time in another Diecast Emporium video. Today we are continuing on with the Quarantine Chronicles or the Collection Update videos, whichever way you want to call it. Uh, we are focusing this video on the articulated dump truck collection that I have in 1 to 50 scale, which is small, to be fair, uh, by some of the other model standards that we have. We have a total of eight models to take a look at today. The breakdown goes one Conrad, one NZG, five Norscots, and one Diecast Masters piece. So, without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and get started. So the one you see in front of you is the oldest one I have, and it is the Conrad model. It's the Cat D400. So, this model, uh, we're filming this here, obviously, in two, the year 2020. So this model is about... 40 years old so it's uh it's pretty up there in terms of age and what you really want to pay attention to anytime you get especially now anytime that you get a conrad model or an nzg model you really if you have the opportunity to you're going to want to check it out first before you buy it because a lot of these models now depending on how long they've been packed away in the styrofoam a lot of times the paint or the tires will have a reaction to the styrofoam and it could potentially screw up the paint job or, you know, the tires. So something, I always like to give that heads up because I've had that happen to me on a couple models that I have purchased on eBay, for example, when the seller claimed that it was new, it wasn't touched, whatever, it's been in storage for years, which that may have been true. But opened it up and the model, for, for lack of a better term, was completely screwed up, ruined, whatever you want to call it. That's saying it nicely. Um... So, again, if you get the opportunity and you go to a model show or you buy it from a private seller, just ask them if you can take it out and take a look at it. You know, just like you were if you were buying a real car. Test drive it. Take a look at it. Make sure everything's fine. Because a lot of times these will have a reaction um, from being in the styrofoam for years. Anyway, I digress. Decent looking model for the age. And Cat as a whole got into the articulated dump truck business relatively late. Um... They acquired, made a deal with another company to buy the articulated line. The D4, D400 was one of the first trucks that they released, certainly one of the first models. Conrad overall did a great job. Two things that you want to look for in any articulated dump truck model, obviously, is that it articulates and that it dumps, which all of these models that you'll see here today do just fine. So there's the Conrad one. You can see the C-Block logo, obviously, Helps give you an idea of the age of this. Quite a hefty piece, too. Um, so, there you go. Next, we have the NZG Cat D250E. To my knowledge, NZG did two versions of this. They did the this one, the 250E, and they did a 250E uh, Series 2, which there were a couple casting changes i think in the headlights in particular was something uh, major that they changed one thing on nzg models particularly cat nzg models again i always like to tell fellow collectors particularly new collectors if they're just getting into the game um, if you're buying an nzg model and the seller claims that it's new always look for the nzg tag because that is a telltale sign if it's new or not and uh, it does add collectability and, most importantly, value to your model if you do have the NCG tag that comes with it. Uh, in terms of the model, articulates fine, dumps fine. This one even has the little tailgate on the back, which I like. Certainly distinguishes it. All right. Let's go ahead and start with the first of the five Norscott models. We're kind of going, there, there is somewhat of an order to this. It's not necessarily machine size, it's more of machine uh, eight, age or, you know, date, rather. Uh, this was the first one that Norscott made, which is actually kind of sort of the truth. This was an Ertl casting before then, and then Norscott took over the rights in 1998. So they basically plastered their name all over it. But this, is, this was originally an Ertl casting. Part of the Road Construction Ahead series, part of Ertl's uh, big construction series. Um, and you can definitely see that in terms of the casting. It doesn't have the highest quality of details or even deco finish on it. You see big screw head rivets all over this truck. Um, definitely 
definitely shows its its 90s age for sure. But it did have a good functioning dump angle and uh, some good articulation. And again, these made for good customs as well. They were easy to take apart and easy to uh, repaint. So there is the D350D. Norscott made a big step in the right direction with the introduction of the 725. And this would stay in their lineup uh, for the better part of a decade. And they would actually release it in this style, which is the, uh, the Pyramid logo. And then it would still be in their lineup in 2007 when Cat did the Power Edge or Power Stripe. So they also would release this in that trade dress as well. So if you're into this style of cat articulated dump trucks, you have two offerings to choose from, depending on uh, which era specific or prototypical, as the term they throw around in the railroad model railroad community, that you like. And uh, again, all of these have good articulation and dump angle just fine. There was a... I won't call it a special edition, but they did a different edition of the 725. They labeled it a 730, part of the uh, Norscott Cat Defense Collection that uh, came out in 2010, was it? And despite not wanting to stay on the little spinny table, uh, it's basically a 725. Pa uh, painted in defense military tan. Literally nothing different. It's not bigger, so it's not a 730. It's just a 725. So, there you go. Alright. Norscott made another step in the right direction in 2013 when they introduced two 740Bs. Here is the first one. This is just your standard uh, 740B articulated dump truck with the standard tipper body. Again, a very popular model. One that sold very well. In fact, it was so popular that when uh, Diecast Masters took over in the middle part of 2015, it uh, remained in the lineup and is still in the lineup currently today as a core classic series edition. So a very good articulated hauler. Check out the articulated or the uh, steps details right here by the articulation joint and the two hoses. So that was all new. Here's the. They also paid a lot of detail, at least by Norscott standards, to the chassis and underside components. Now I said this was the first of two because if you weren't particularly fond of the articulated or of the standard tipper then you could get the ej or ejector version of the 740b main difference here obviously the ejector mechanism also very popular and also uh, part of the diecast masters line as well and uh, d gave us something different and unique. Personally, I like it because, you know, when you're talking about articulated dump trucks, you get, obviously, you, you picture the standard tipper body style. This was something different and unique with the ejector mechanism. Um, we see a lot of these, at least I see a lot of these, uh, around me. And it was nice to have a scale model that represented the uh, ejector mechanism. There you see it right there. So, either or, you have the standard tipper body represented, as well as the ejector mechanism represented. Now, we will finish off with, undoubtedly, the best Caterpillar articulated dump truck in die cast currently available. That is the Diecast Masters Cat 745. Here it is. Brand new casting. Uh, a couple years ago when it came out by Diecast Masters, what I mean by that is it wasn't a former Norscott model. This was an all-new, brand-new design by Diecast Masters. It was one of the first Highline Series models to have the operator Bob 
removed from the cab, so it gave you flexibility there to have him either out of the cab or in the operator's compartment if you wanted to have that. Tons of detail and functionality on this truck, including an opening hood with some engine detail. Uh, dumping body here. Dumping box right there. And again, as I said, the top pops off of the cab if you wanted to put the operator in there. But they also went one step further. Included with this truck is this right here how about a 150 scale load for the truck there you go and it actually fits in there quite well and it's molded as such that it actually stays in there quite well so there you have it collectors that is my complete cat collection in 1 to 50 scale of articulated dump trucks hope you enjoyed this video please let me know down in the comment section below which of these you have in your collection or which of these you would like to add to your collection as always i'm tommy with diecast emporium thank you so much for watching we will see you in the next video